Hello, hello. I'll turn that off real quick here. Also, sorry if I'm distracted. There is quite literally my little baby cat here who has recovered from surgery and finally doesn't have his cone on and is full of himself now. <laughs> That's right. He was trying to eat the plants and so I had to distract him. But anyways, today we're going to be playing the Royal Aspirations Challenge. Hello, dog. Also, if I seem tired, uh, I am, and I'm sorry that this is super bright. I have a new camera to set up, but it was not cooperating. This one just picks up light like no other. I literally have curtains there, no lights on, but you're not here to look at me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to the Royal Aspirations Challenge. That's right, Richard. Sorry, I'm stepping away from the music, but... Uh, oh, and then it just says, no, you must listen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really tired because I got a puppy, and... Yeah, they, they are awake a lot of the time. Why? What happened to your hat? <gasps> oh, hold on. No, do not save. Dang it. I forgot to put a folder in. It happens. I was like, why did they look weird? Gee, I wonder, could you have not put in the right folder? Give me just a moment. Thankfully, this is a really fast save. Downloads, tutor. No wonder. I'm like, that loaded quick. <laughs> yeah, there's barely any CC, so it will it'll go quick. Baby cat, it would be great if I could have an arm. He says, no, no arm for you. No arms for you, Glenn Coco. That's fine. All right. Sorry I did not stream last week. I was just, I'm on new medications in addition to everything else that's happening. So I just, it was not happening. It was not gonna happen. They make me very tired all the time. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -dum. Ba -da -dum. He's very cute and his big old naked tummy makes me laugh because they had to shave like his whole stomach and his little rabbit pouch. I would show you but he does not take kindly to that. Okay so we left off with basically everybody getting ready for the next challenge because they do I will provide the rules because I am a kind and benevolent human being. So this is the challenge that we're doing. I created this challenge several years ago. I've played it twice. It's really fun, but essentially I created it because I'm like, it's not fair that you just get a randomize and that sim gets to be king. Not fair. No. So we're going to be playing through this and then once we're done, we're going to be playing a Another challenge, I'm not really sure what type, but it will be with these sims. Probably not like a medieval charter challenge or anything, but some sort of challenge where I'll have a tutor neighborhood. If you know of any kind of cool challenges that would segue nicely into that, think Royal Kingdom challenge, build a city challenge, I could do prosperity challenge, something like that, definitely let me know. I know about the Warwickshire challenge, but that one scares me a little bit, <laughs> but we could try. So last time they had to kind of dig for treasure until eventually there was only one sim standing. Why can't I eye drop that? That's rude. Today their challenge is actually, I'm sorry, let me go back, breaking badge. Everyone is gonna be assigned a random crafting badge, either flower arranging, pottery, toy making, or robotics. 
They'll, I'll use max motive once everybody is assigned and in place. And at that point, they, they, they get to go until they quit. So how I'm doing this, where are, oh good golly gosh, all right. I'm sorry, I feel so unprepared. Let me go grab my dice. Um, hey, at least you had a cat for like a hot second. <laughs> oh, now he stole my chair. Richard, <laughs> okay, okay. So this is how I'm gonna sit now. God, my hair feels so greasy. It's not, but it's just, it feels greasy today. Did my mic move? Or not my mic, my, it might have moved. I don't know, you can see my cat litter in the corner. Huzzah. It's because I had Richard up in a room, in my bathrooms, to be precise, while he was recovering. All right, I just want a D4. Can I, can I have a D4 or am I gonna cry? <laughs> there she blows, okay. All I want. Please don't eat the plants. <laughs> he's so, he's absolutely rotten. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> I kind of miss him being in his little quarantine. No, 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 that's aloe vera, but still. Come here, buddy. Er, that's it. <laughs> Come here. Now he's trying to eat my dice. I'm sorry. <laughs> this little cat. This little cat. He's also flinging everything everywhere. So he's going to help us roll, apparently. That's what he's decided to do. Because he's a very, very helpful little animal. Hopefully he doesn't bite me while he's doing this. I thought about doing the car when I created the original challenge. But it just didn't. Oh, is sewing part of it? No, that's a different one. So this is going to be the order one, two, three, or four. Four. So, oop. I'm going to put that over there. And that'll be the first Sam. I can't remember who's what, but it's fine. One. And I know that these all impact motives differently. Another four. But that's that's part of the challenge, is the, the random aspect. Four and one, apparently, is what this D4 wants to roll. Nope. Three. They're in my way, as Sims love to be. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, another one of these. Last one, no flower arranging. Interesting, I'm gonna veto that because I want one flower arranging at least. Or, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. I will save the station. Because now that they've had like these kind of things on the lots we're gonna go with, though I'm gonna keep one of each, maybe two. It just depends on what everybody's into. And that's for later. But let's just get started. Oh wait, no, I need 16 things. Kada! Why am why am I like this? I'm so I'm so out of it. The puppy was pretty good last night. That was actually the first night he was home and we created him, but like, he's still a puppy. And so he had crying moments, which meant I had to get up and sit with him and make him feel better. Apparently my, this particular D4 just likes one and three. Oh wait, wasn't this four? I don't know, I, I moved him. Hey, we do get one. So it's 5, 10, 11, 12, 
13. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then I think that's that should be it because there should be eight Sims in each. Yeah. Okay. But it, but it, but it, but it. I am also going to give them a ton of money because money is irrelevant right now all right guys oh man i didn't remember what order everything was in oh boo all right fine we'll just roll again we'll just roll again we'll just roll again it'd be like that oh i would like you to know too that richard is biting me this entire time and i'm just trying really hard to ignore him Reminds me of that meme where it's like, biting you, biting you, biting you, biting you. Yeah, that's him. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Gabby. Being bitten by a cat, but, you know, it'd be like that. Okay, so Aiden. Oh, he's got devil people chosen. Okay. Is going to be flower arranging. Annika is going to be doing toys. So is Bernadette. It's probably a mistake to name one of these sims after my cane, but whatevs. I done did it. I done did it. Griffin. Alright, so that's two people flower arranging already, right? Yeah. So no more flower arranging. If I get flower arranging, I can pick something else. How many are doing toys already? One, two. So you're three. And four. She actually rolled flower arranging, but like I said, we're overriding that. Two. Maisie is doing pottery. Nicholas is doing toys. Let me just get it. That's cool. What's your comic about? I have a soft spot for Strange Town. I will. I will admit, admit that. Okay. Alright, you're doing what you need to do. You're doing what you need to do. I'm just trying to get everybody there, and that's when I'm gonna max motives. robot for you. Also robots for you. So the rest of these guys I believe are going to be making me bleh, making pottery. Wait, what are you complaining about, Sebastian? Um, buddy? What do you mean you're not in the mood to do that? Are you in the mood to do it now? Is Sydney just refusing to do things? 
Somebody else is refusing too. Is it you? She's refusing to do it. I can't make her do it. She's not in a bad mood though. You're not in a bad mood. You're a liar. Like she's not in a bad mood. I, I guess, I guess she's refusing to participate, which could definitely hurt her in the long run. But I mean, I've given her everything she needs and she's just refusing to do it. All right, so Sydney says no, she's not doing that. I'm gonna go have her do some homework then because she's just flat out participating not participating. She doesn't want to make a robot. Maybe she's got some weird ethics. All right. Oh, he's lucky he got his one true hobby. He's the only one, I think. All right, what do we got? How are we doing? How are we doing? So it looks like the boys are all over here, or four of them. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. We could have had a robot queen. The last time I did this, I got a robot queen, and she was amazing. I believe her name is Yua. Why? Why are you just whining? I didn't tell you. Do you have a like a complainer trait? Oh, you're a loner. That's right. Well, she was the winner last time. So maybe, I feel like this is not cheating to do this since she did win a challenge. Is we're gonna accommodate Sydney's lonerness. Once her mood improves, it should let us tell her to actually do something. Ugh, I need to not slouch. All right, how are we doing? Everybody's still participating besides Sydney, who is just being stubborn. Come on, girly. Get in a better mood. So begins the spam of everybody making a million things. <gasps> oh no, Sebastian quit! Sebastian is our first actual contender to quit okay he didn't even get a bronze badge dude that's not good and what did he get what did he make where did all this stuff come from oh from digging stuff up so he made one messed up plate he must have dug up that I'm gonna delete this because I don't want to confuse myself Wow, okay, Sebastian. That's a choice. That is a choice. I can't believe he quit. I've never seen a sim quit that quickly. Did I not tell him to make, I'm gonna, maybe I didn't tell him to make many. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt because that seems odd. If he quits again, we're gonna let him, but that just seems a little odd. Oh, is she better? Are you better? Are you willing to make some robots now? Okay, she is. I'm not gonna up, I know her motives are pretty high anyways, but I'm not gonna up them any further. And now it's just a matter of seeing who quits. We either go until 6 p.m. or until there's only one person standing. Oh, we got a quitter. She for sure quit. Okay, Catherine for sure quit. Sebastian for sure quit again. Okay, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. It was a little cheaty on his part. But his like energy isn't even super down. He just doesn't want to do it. Trying not to slouch, it's really hard. Okay, 
Because usually the pottery people do quit first because their comfort just goes to the garbage. But I think robotics also goes after the comfort. Ooh, toy making. Is he just standing there watching them, thinking about getting married? I mean, I guess Sebastian. Okay, hi, hi, random dude. We don't care. Get out. Good day, sir. We don't need you. All right, wait, where's my quitter? I can't even remember who quit now. Oh, Catherine quit. She's not even prego. One of these Sims is prego. She didn't quit. I don't even remember who it was at this point. Good for you, Bernadette. We're glad we're glad to know that's also bad for her because she might quit. I wonder if he's just sitting there going like, I'm okay being a peasant. I could still have a family, but he's like curious how long people are gonna go and he's like, uh uh oh. Here they go. Is Sydney still? Yes, yeah, she still is too. She's participating. Any guesses as who's to, who's gonna win? Oh oh oh! Josette is done. She says I'm freaking tired and I stink. Get away from me! Oh yeah. I just realized I did not fix that hygiene thing. So I'm gonna. I will bump her hygiene. I'll bump Catherine's too. So Josette is our th third quitter. Why is he just standing around? Why are you being so awkward, my dude? Oh, also, Josette does keep get to keep this. It is important for later. And since she quit, I'm just gonna check and make sure she doesn't have... Okay, she does have a craftable. I just don't want them to have craftables because there is points involved. If they have something they were assigned to and I didn't catch it, that's my fault. Uh, she was... Pottery, okay. Ah! So I'm gonna delete the kite. It seems like pottery is the one that they're like, no, thank you. Interesting. I love fairy stuff. There's a comic that I, I read a couple years ago. It's called I Hate Fairyland. And it's so funny, but it was really awkward because I brought it with me on vacation. And my nieces at the time were like, 11 and 13 and they were like oh i want to read this and i'm like no 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 please no please no 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 because <laughs> it's just like very murdery and it doesn't look like it from the cover and i'm just like mm. and my sister like just let him read it and then she let them read it and regretted it immediately i'm like i did tell you no you just didn't listen <laughs> why would you let them read that now they're scared well you didn't listen to me all right, we got two more quitters. Just checking. Yeah, no other craftables. So it looks like three of the dudes have quit and two of the girls have quit. Sydney is still going. And for whatever reason, Sebastian is just going to stand there and supervise. I don't know if he feels like, well, as long as I watch them. Oh, we got another quitter. Griffin quit. The dudes are quitters. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say what we're all thinking. The dudes are quitters. Okay, he doesn't have anything else. I know I said 6 p.m., but I might just keep going. 
Let's just really see who's going to take this home. Oof. If you're uncomfortable, go to bed. Go sit in a lounge chair. Oh, Lysandra quit. Okay, what does she have that's not a toy? Oh, nothing. Go do you. Bernadette also quit. I'm going to ump up her hygiene. Because I'm a kind and benevolent human being. She should just have toy things. Okay, cool. Alright. So who do we have left? We have Annika, Robert, Peregrine, Aiden, Henry, Shane, and Sydney. Who will survive? Oh, I think Shane quit. Yep, he quit. Okay. Do you have anything that's not robotic? You do. I know I wanted stuff to decorate their house, but like, because there's points involved and that will confuse me, I'm removing anything craftable. I'm sitting up. I'm sitting up. Urgh. Sydney's still going. Annika quit. Okay. But she at least finished her toy. Oh shoot, who was who was next to her? Oh, it was a girl. I think it was you. Yeah. Okay, so all of the toy makers are done. Oh, Henry has also quit. And so has Aiden. Which just leaves Sydney. Robert and Peregrine. They are not giving up. They're like, no, we will make pottery until we die if we have to. Um, who's giggling? Griffin and Gisette behave. <gasps> Ooh, they woohooed. They did woohoo. Oh, dang it. Who else woohooed? Aiden and Annika. Okay, guys. I'm just, just saying. You better watch it. Oh, 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 oh. Robert quit. Yes, hello, little cat. Please don't press the keyboard buttons. Shane, you can do whatever you want. You are not bound. So it's between Peregrine and Sydney. Who is gonna survive? He didn't finish anything right. Yeah, no. We'll make it. Oh, Sydney quit. For realsies this time. All right, so our winner is Peregrine. Peregrine said, no, ma'am, I am winning. Let me make sure that she just has pottery in there. Beautimus. Okay. Hello. Yes, hello, baby cat. So let's grab the point system real quick.
Peregrine is doing very well. So she gets 10 points for the winner, which automatically puts her above Robert with 70 points total. I don't think anybody earned a badge, but they will have a chance to earn points for badges if they didn't. I don't, I don't remember seeing a pop-up for a badge. That's right, Richard. I did not see one, did you? Richard says no. Okay, but at the end of the challenge, besides this, but like, they get 30 points per badge, and that's 30 points bronze badge, an additional 30 for silver, and an additional 30 for gold if they happen to get there. Now they're gonna get one point per craftable item. That's why I wanted to remove anything that was a craftable that they did not make themselves. Oh wait, so 11. For Aiden. Which brings him to 21 points. He's still kind of low there. Annika. So 12. So she's at 42 points total. Bernadette, 11. Twenty-six points. Sorry, I know calculating points is probably not the most entertaining thing to watch, but it is important. Catherine. One, did she just make one plate? I'm going to count the messed up plate, so she gets two points. That's not great. That gives her 32. Griffin gets 10, which has him at 20. Henry, 7. So Henry is now at 37 points. And Gisette, that's eight. So she's at 38. She got bumped quite a bit. Lysandra. Oh, whoops. 11. Lysandra's at 41, so she's just one behind Annika. Maisie got 7. So Maisie's at 33. Nicholas got 10, so he's at 60. Patrick, 9. So he's at 34. Bumped him up a few places. Peregrine, 4, 10. She's at 80. Robert, 7, 8, 9. That puts Robert at 74, so he's still eh, close ish second. Do you only make two messed up plates and then just call it a day? Really, Sebastian? He's at 27. Shane, seven. Shane's at 12 points. 
and Sydney. Is that 42? But Sydney is no longer our winner. Peregrine is. So Peregrine is going to get to come up here from now on. So poor Sydney is going to be sharing the dorm space again. So yeah, now we just need to finish their semester. Where's, I'm going to just do a group motive. 100% hygiene. Oh, you want to be best friends with Annika? Or Annika? I'm sure. You already are best friends forever. And say you're already like super close. Ooh, but you're in love and she's not. How are we doing here? Eh, we could be doing better. She's still passing, but she could be doing better. Can you have a pillow fight by him? Hi, fat cat. I can't have all of you up here. I, I, I do wish that my lap was large enough to fit everybody, but it sure is not. Bernadette, she doesn't want to do anything. No. Catherine, what did I have you doing? Pottery. So I'm going to lock that because I can actually tell her to do pottery now and get that badge. All right, how about you just go to bed, dude? Who did you woohoo with, by the way? I can't remember. I think it was Gisette. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Slacking. Or slacking. Slouching. It's so hard not to slouch, like, it just genuinely is a little impossible for me. I'm hoping if I sent a bunch of people to bed, they'll re-roll their wants, because i got some concerns. Lysandra, you can go play, that's fine. Maisie is already asleep. Nicholas wants a point. Go and study mechanical. Patrick doesn't need a skill point, but I'm going to have him study charisma or practice speech. I did not, by the way, um, create the remember how I said I was going to create a sorority and then they can all join it I haven't done that yet which is fine they don't need it quite yet all right dude have you go eat oh and while they can get points for badges they won't get any additional points for craftables since they already kind of, they got points already. Anything they do now doesn't count towards points. Why, why are you sad? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I still don't remember who's Prego. You're not in the mood to do what? Oh, study? Well, then go to sleep. Girl, go to sleep.
pretty sure everybody's asleep except maybe Sydney. Oh, and Nicholas. Nicholas! Alright, what were you doing since you like badges right now? Toy making. Cool. Go to sleep and then we will deal with that in the morning. Girl, finish that assignment. Sebastian, go to sleep. You can do it. and robotics badge Let's see, I don't know why she's so smelly but who knows their comfort's not going up very much They have a decent bed. I mean, it's not the best bed, but... All right. I'm making you clean the sink because it's gross. Starting to be on their way to being awake. I really need to fix that. Ooh, she's afraid of. Being on academic probation. Okay, well, that doesn't help me because she's not going to be on academic probation. What about you? Doesn't help me either. Come on, y'all. Give me some wants that are helpful. Oh. Good for Shane. Henry, I see you. And what does he... Oh, he doesn't want either of the things that he was working on. He wants flower arranging or pottery. We can do that. I'm excited. I'm going to be making another cover for my headsets. So, one of these, basically. But instead of six, it's going to be Sims inspired. It's going to be fun. I might make a few. Because the first one might be a little Bella Goth themed. <laughs> Love it. Uh uh. Thank like you. He's picking up somebody else's project and he's like, what were they doing? I hate it. Okay, so make a bunch. Okay, and what were you doing? Also flower arranging. Perfect. For you clean the sink. 
I don't think there's any food, so resume making that. Ooh, Annika wants a skill point. Body or cleaning? Let's do cleaning. She wants to make pottery, okay. Not helpful to me with this part, but okay. What about you? Nothing super useful either. Griffin. Please want something useful. You sure do. All right, what did you do in the challenge? Flower arranging. Okay, I'll buy another one. Yes, hello, Richard. Okay, that's all you wanted to do was just finish a plate? That's not very helpful for that. Just like, no, now I want to buy things worth lots and lots of money, please. Thank you. Go have some cereal. There you go. Let's get you awake. She's probably not going to want to do anything. Skill point wants cleaning. So good job, Annika. You also want to arrange flowers. Well, apparently that is just the hobby of choice now. I don't know if you can see Richard right now, but he's being very, very cute. Yeah, you can see him just at the edge of the screen. Of course. Welcome to cat life. And nothing useful. All right, Bubba, you're going to press a key on my keyboard. Please don't. Please. And you're kicking me. And you're kicking me. I don't think he cares. All right, buddy. Anything useful besides flower arranging, which is apparently just the choice right now? I mean, I'm gonna lock it, but... Oh, 
Well, then come and eat if you want to complain. That's why her hygiene is garbage. Come on, the cafeteria person just burned all their food. Yum, burnt pancakes. Standing there awkwardly. Go eat some pancakes. You want to do some pottery, buddy? I can help with that. Robert. Body skill. I think he can work out here. told you not to do that. He says, I don't care. I'm making the bed. Leave me alone. Okay, good. He can. You just wanted to make the one. Okay, well, that's fair, I guess. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I might cut this stream way earlier than anticipated because I'm exhausted. I'm heckin' tired. Wait. Charisma. about you do an assignment instead of harass whoever that is and you eat and then you can throw a pot food Ooh, he got a bronze badge. Nice. send her back to bed. Which is just where I want to be. I shouldn't burn the pancakes this time. Miserable.
Was that a single pop or the second pop? I, I think Maisie was the one who was prego. I mean, she's obviously pregnant now, but I thought I think she's the only one. Yeah. Which disqualifies her from a lot of things. We might end up not using the hardest set of rules, especially because there's you have to be like big on campus and things that in an empty neighborhood are kind of hard to do. But we'll see. We'll see. She can still be a peasant rather than an indentured servant, which is a plus. When she has the baby, I'm just going to ship it off to the main neighborhood with like a nanny or something and she'll finish off through the challenge. No. Yeah, go to class. Go to class. She doesn't really want to go to class, so I won't make her. I would like you to stop doing that. She doesn't want to go to class, so I can't make her go. He also doesn't want to go, so I'm not going to make him go. She wants to go. Go on, Sydney. You poor little loner. Are we just talking about children? Really? All right, guys, I'm far t more tired than I expected to be. I'm sorry, but I am gonna cut this short. I am hopefully, hoping that puppy will get into the swig of things and not wake me up every few hours, but I'm, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a day. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna go take a nap with this obnoxious orange cat. I'll see you guys on uh, Wednesday.